This is my 12 gauge SVD. It's meta, don't worry. Cherry piece under his little blanket. He chillin'. What servers do you play on? There's private streamer servers with like uh, like worse players and on them basically. It just puts you in raids with people with low KDs, essentially. That's how it works. And then there's better loot too. Yeah. You guys know BSG pays streamers to play the game, right? It's like $10 per average viewer every month. So like, if you average like 3,000 viewers over the course of a month, you get 30 grand from BSG. And then you get access to the streamer servers. Kind of low, not gonna lie, yeah. I've been trying to get him to up the price, but... I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die, dude. Alright. And we gotta go mark this shit. Then I gotta run all the way down to the village. <gasps> but it's hitting high. I forgot these slugs shoot high at range. Bro, these slugs shoot high. I completely forgot. I gotta aim like a foot below him and he dies. The scab killed him. The scab killed him. Oh no. Look at him, dude. This poor man, he just took a seat. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. You know what AP adds like fucking 35% recoil? Thirty-five percent. Yeah, it, it one taps level four to the thorax though, so it's definitely like if it was like no recoil change, that shit would be nuts. Oh, I should go grab that other one while I'm here. I kind of forgot about that quest. Let's do it. Back to the sawmill.
<laughs> Bro, they take so long to get there, dude. <laughs> We got him, boys. This is that meta Saga build. If you ain't using this, bro, you're not a true sniper. You don't know what it means to be a true Tarkov sniper, pal. Uh. Wait, the thingy. It's back here. All right, we just gotta go to the spark circle. How far of a shot is that? I want that AP20 for this man. Maybe it was like 250. That that seems more accurate. I killed him. Right? He's dead as hell, man. <laughs> Fucking smoked him. Dude, this thing is nuts. Wait, where's this man's body even at? Watch me have like completely missed and not really Oh, here he is. Bro. I probably thoraxed him too. What's up, Clover? I know you're hyped for tomorrow, bro. Dude, this shit is fucking hilarious, by the way. The shotgun. This is that meta. GG keychain kind of underrated and actually useful. It's really good for um, standard accounts. I, I don't even know why I brought the customs keys to the woods. I didn't think about that. But bringing four keys in one slot. I mean, obviously the key tool is good, but the, the keychain's 50k. And you find it up with scabs like all the time. <laughs> I know foregrip. You can't put a foregrip on this uh, handguard. It has good stats though. The handguard. Keychain is good. You hear that? Dudes are popping off. Oh, they're at the. They're where I need to go. By the way, they used to be like super rare. Yeah. So is the CSP just big frag chance but and low recoil? That's why it works. Nah, it's it's so it's got really high flesh damage, but it's like so shotgun slugs in this game are wildly inaccurate. Um, for some reason the copper slugs, the CSP, is like the only semi -ac accurate one at range. I think it's because all the shotguns are ranged for buckshot. So the slugs sometimes just like fly over and the gun is really low MOA as well. But this adds 150% accuracy and somehow has similar like maybe like speed to buckshot or I don't know, whatever it is, it fucking it works somehow. 
The FTX slugs, I know they, I know they have boosted accuracy, but they just test it at range and it's fucking like it does not feel as good. Super performance is really good. But I, I don't have access to those yet. Or I didn't. When I bought all this ammo. I think that's level three Jaeger or four or something. AP20 is okay, but you you obviously can't buy that, right? I just get shot from like far away or am I tripping? I'm like out of AP20. See, AP20's busted. I have one in the chamber of AP20 and then we got another one. AP20's busted because it one taps thorax. I think it one taps thorax level. It does. It definitely one taps thorax level four. And it'll fuck you up with level five even. I don't think it'll one tap through most level fives though. That is a mutant. I'm gonna be heavy as hell running away, man. Alright, so my inventory loud, uh, sounds are still loud as shit. Super loud. Contraband ammo, yep. I don't care for the mutant. It's just too heavy for me to like carry across the map. And honestly, bro, the last gun I want to use right now is the mutant. Considering that was like one of the only options for the last fucking year and a half playing this game almost. Fuck the mutant. Fuck the RD. I want to use this something else. When streamers bitch, they get their way. <laughs> Are you saying that you don't think it was a good change and that most of the community isn't like super fucking ecstatic over it? The one guy that was like molding at me over Twitter, like tweeting all this crazy shit at me, was he like completely discredited himself when he said Somebody was like, bro, you don't even play, like, it's obvious. And he was like, I actually, I have 500 hours in the game. So he said he has 500 hours in the game, saying that like it's some, like, crazy amount. And then said, if you struggle with recoil, just burst fire, dude. It's not that, it's not that hard. So if he thinks that burst firing is at all effective in this game, and claims that 500 hours is, like, a ridiculous amount, and he's some professional because he played 500 hours, that just, like, completely, and, and, like, the burst firing thing is what fucking really put it over the top like everybody knows burst fire is horrendous and has always been like horrible in this game i would like it if burst fire was effective i i kind of wish he was right but it's just it just shows how fucking clueless and then he tweeted at me he's like like separately afterwards because essentially he he responded to my tweet and was like so now you're saying when I get beamed across the map, it's just a skill issue? And I said, exactly. Like, you're getting it. Finally, you're completely right. It is a skill issue if you're getting beamed across the map now. And you did better when recoil was almost entirely RNG. Like, yes, true. And, um, and he got all butthurt and everybody was responding to him like, holy shit, man. Like, yes, you're right. Finally. And he got really mad and he, he, he wrote up a separate tweet and was like, I've never watched any fucking at trade 24k content in my life and I've I've never been more glad to say so. This guy's fucking stupid or some shit like that. And it was like, bro, honestly, it's it's very obvious that you've never watched any of my content. Like maybe if you have, you would know that burst fire was shit and that you're acting like a fucking idiot on the internet. Like maybe you would know. <laughs> AP20 is so good. Like maybe you would know. There's another guy. Mm. 
No. The CSPs let me down, bro. GG's. The CSPs let me down, man. If only I had one more AP20, I killed him. Not the Swiga. 297 meters. Dude, that Saiga build is sick. Here, I'll show it to you guys really quick if you want to build one. Okay, so five rounders for the drip unless you have a rig that can hold more. This would be a good grip. I think I was using this because it's cheaper though. And then you throw on the PT3 with the PSO. I was using the 1M2. I like the just normal PSO one more. I kind of wish I was using that instead. And then you just throw on the hexagon with the type 340 and then like a balder is usually fine and then you got it bro simple as that that's it that's the swag build 172 recoil 30 ergo but it's a fucking sniper rifle dude and then 20.83 moa 20.83 moa classic